Hey guys, this is Delirious Sanity, <clears throat> and today I'm bringing you the top 10 PS4 Fallout 4 mods. These are in my opinion. Most of these are rated 5 stars, so I guess they're all pretty good. But, uh, yeah, this is the top 10. Starting off with, uh, Power Armor Frame Crafter and more. Basically, it allows you to... Build the power armor frame, build the fusion cores, and build every piece to the power armor, like the chest, the arms, all of that. And if you have the Seasons Pass version like I do, you can build the Nuka Cola one, you can build the Railroad one, you can build the uh, Nuka Quantum X01. All the ones that are kind of harder to get, you can just craft them, which is going to be pretty cool. The second one is called Workbench Anywhere. It allows you to throw down a workbench anywhere and uh, it allows you to build within a certain distance around it which is going to be pretty cool I can't wait to test this one out because I really want to build in the uh, in the very radioactive places and stuff it's going to be pretty cool the third one is called Simple Camper and this is definitely for those survival players if you play survival you obviously know you cannot save unless you go to sleep and this allows you to throw down a sleeping bag and a cooking station so you can cook your food and sleep and save before you go into a crazy mission. By the way, I keep showing the description after them, but I will also leave a link in the description for the Bethesda.mods.net. So yeah. The fourth one is called Unlock Settlement Objects. For the most part, it unlocks pretty much, not all, but most of the objects in the commonwealth that you see. Uh, I'm sure there's multiple things that you see and you're like, why the hell can't I build with that? Well, now you can. Arguably, this is one of the best mods out there. If you're a builder, this is definitely going to be one of the best mods for you. If you're not a builder, then it's not really going to be one of the better mods. The fifth one is called Simple Green. It adds grass, bushes, leaves on the trees, flowers, whatnot. It makes the game look a lot more vivid, more descriptive, and in my opinion, it makes it look a lot better. The sixth one is called Free Crafter, and basically this removes the material and perk requirements from all stations and workbenches, so usually you would, you know, you'd need materials to craft your armor or you'd need a certain perk to craft it so far, well, you no longer do with this mod. Very useful. I believe this is the sixth one. <coughs> it's called Free Maker, and I have the Seasons Pass version because I have all the DLCs. Basically, it allows you to craft pretty much anything. Not everything, but pretty much anything. Armor, clothing, ammo, weapons, power armor pieces, aid, junk, miscellaneous currency, you can freaking craft pretty much anything, which is cool. Especially for the ammo part, because when you're playing on survival difficulty, you have to go to Nuka World in order to get 762, and you have to go to Far Harbor to get 45 by 70. And now, you better believe it, I'm going to be getting my own ammo. This is the seventh one. It's called Wacky's. Wacky Weapons Workshop Seasons Pass version. There's also a base game version. Most of the ones that do have the Seasons Pass version do have the base game version, in case you don't have any DLCs. But it allows you to put most mods on most guns. You can turn your AK into a mini nuke, or you can turn your pipe pistol into a 762. You can do whatever you want. It's going to be very fun. This one is definitely one of those more creative ones. It allows you to... Experience what you want for yourself. You're going to make some shit that you've never seen or nobody else has ever seen before, and it's going to be pretty cool. I believe this is the ninth one, all vault gear. Uh, this one is one of my favorite ones because I went vault to vault and was looking for the vault gear, and I couldn't find every single one of them. I found most of them, but not all of them. But now I will finally have the pleasure that I wish to have, which is going to be very nice. This is the, the last but not least, the tenth one. It's called the Developer Room. It adds a little room by Sanctuary that you can go into, 
It's got pretty much every object in the game. It's got junk, it's got power armor, it's got stim packs, whatever you can think of, it's probably in there. It's kind of like a cheap menu, except you don't have to go and type it in, which is going to be pretty useful. So yeah guys, that's the uh, top 10 mods, and uh, subscribe to my channel, I will be doing a lot of Fallout 4 modding videos. I'll probably be doing like a 100 day challenge where every day I'll make a video about the latest mods that come out, because 10 to 20 mods come out every day. There's some cool ones, there's some not so cool ones. I just want to test them out, and I'll be going over almost every mod, or at least every popular mod, you know that for a fact. So maybe if you're thinking about um, getting a mod, but you don't quite know if you want it, or you don't know what exactly it does, I will be doing a video on almost every mod, and, I will, and in those videos I will leave the mods that I used in the description, so you can go through my videos and find out you know, like say you want a certain mod, you can go find it in my video, see how it works, see exactly what it does, see if it crashes or has glitches, and then you can go and download it for yourself. Guys, Bethesda has said that PS4 mods will be coming by the end of this week. It's now Thursday, so they've only got Friday, Saturday, Friday and Saturday really, because Sunday's technically a new week. So pretty much two days, two days, when we've got mods. So enjoy, guys. If I were you, I would make an account on Bethesda.net, and I would start putting some mods in your library so that when they come out, you can go and just instantly get them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day.